Okay. Just waiting on coach, so I'm not sure these guys are in a big hurry to go anywhere right now, so. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll get started. Again, congratulations to the Peacocks of St. Peter's University as they are moving on to round number two with tonight's overtime victory against the University of Kentucky. We'll have to take questions for the student athletes coming up in just a matter of moments. But first of all, let's get an opening statement from head coach Shaheen Holloway. First of all, I want to give Coach Cowell and Kentucky a lot of credit. Those guys came out and, you know, they, they fought, they fought. You know, our guys stepped up to the level of competition. Um, so hats off to them. Just proud of my guys for battling like we do all year. Um, this is something that these guys understand, you know, no disrespect to anybody, but we wasn't coming down here just to lose. We come down here to fight, and we, we did, so hats off to these guys. All right, let's, uh, again, if you have a question for the student athlete, please raise your hand. We will get a microphone to you. And again, please state your name and affiliation uh, before you ask your question. Questions for the student athletes? Let's go right here, right in the front. Let's go to Sports Illustrated here. Go ahead. Yeah, Kevin Sweeney from Sports Illustrated. Uh, this is for KC. Um, I know, obviously, Kentucky's known for their rebounding, uh, but your front court really hung in, and I think you only lost the rebounding battle by like three or four. Um, what allowed you guys to battle like you did on, on the glass? Uh, well, we're a hard-working team, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, the mindset of the game was to, in practice, we knew that they want to rebound. They have a lot of guys that rebound the basketball, so, you know, we just had to box out. You know, stay on our ground and fight down uh, down there. Let's get the microphone to Mark here. Go ahead. Hi, Mark Hanazaro from the New York Post. Uh, for all three of you guys, um, as Doug is sinking those free throws late and you, you know it's yours, can you just kind of explain the emotion? Can you just describe the emotion in those last few seconds? Let's start with Daryl and work our way down. Daryl, go ahead. Um, yeah, I mean, it was an amazing feeling. You know, uh, playing basketball, you grow up watching – College basketball, and college basketball in the March Madness tournament. So just letting that sink in, knowing that the game is over and we got it, just felt really good. Doug? Uh, yeah, like Daryl said, uh, I feel like every basketball, every basketball player's dream is to play in the NCAA tournament and uh, make a run in it. And it just felt really amazing to get this first win, and uh, we're looking to get more. Uh, yeah, the emotions was very high. You know, it was very thrilled, but, you know, uh, we came down here with a mindset of we're not losing and, you know, we could beat anybody with hard work and dedication, so that's what we're doing out there. Let's get the back corner here. Go ahead. Name and affiliation, please. Uh, Joel Lorenzi with the Indy Star. Doug, uh, I think you hit that three late uh, to take the lead, and then in overtime you hit another huge three. I mean, those shots take guts. I mean, what's going through your head as you hit those? Yeah, um, my, uh, my coach is making uh, great play calls towards the end of the game. Uh, I love that he, he believes in me so much to take those kind of shots. Uh, my teammates do a great job of uh, setting screens and, and uh, giving me good passes when I'm open, and uh, I'm just shooting with a lot of confidence. Jerry? Yes, Jerry, Tipton, Lexington, Herald Leader. Yesterday, your coach said that you guys would come in here with a mentality of Kentucky should have recruited you. How much was that, you know, uh, a motivation? Uh, yeah, so that goes back to... Um, 
us just all having a chip on our shoulders. You know, we all come from different places. Uh, we had different opportunities set up. Maybe we could have went somewhere else, but you know, coach believed in us and he brought us in because he knew what we could do. So that's just what we play with. That's the mentality we have day in and day out. Yeah, um, our whole team works so hard every day in practice and uh, it doesn't matter who we play against. We're just going to go out there and try to execute our game plan and just play as hard as we possibly can. Yeah, what my uh, teammates said, uh, we just love being the underdogs, you know, just going out there fighting, staying together, staying poised and, you know, getting the job done. Mike? Mike Wells, ESPN. This question is for any of the three of you. How much does it help having a coach like Coach Holloway, whose demeanor just seems so calm? As you guys are shooting a free throws down a stretch, he was showing no emotion, arms crossed, like he expected you guys to be in this position to win. Uh, well, we work on free throws probably more than anybody in the country. You know, that's one thing that we doing practice over and over again. So, you know, our coach really believes in us and, you know, this is the stuff that we're supposed to be doing and we're just going out there to try to execute all the game plans in every aspect. Um, our coach just believes in us so much. Uh, he, he knows what we're capable of and uh, I feel like his belief gives, gives us belief in ourselves to uh, make those plays and shoot those free throws at the end of the game. Yeah, uh, we go as he goes. So he always keeps a level head. He always tells us to get it to keep, keep calm, and when he's fired up, we're fired up. He always just gets us going, and like Casey said, we practice free throws every practice, every day, probably more than anybody, really. So, yeah. We do have participants that are joining us via Zoom. Let's take a question from Zoom. Let's go to Christopher Heidel. Christopher, please unmute yourself and ask your question for the student athletes. Hi, this is Chris Heidel from Herbert Radio in Baltimore, Maryland. Congratulations on the big win over Kentucky. What does this mean for you guys, for, for your program, the school, and also for the conference, knowing you're knocking off a big uh, big power climb one of those big giants? Let's start with Daryl and work our way down. Daryl, go ahead. Um, you know, it's huge, you know, putting Jersey City on the map. In New Jersey, we come from a small state. Probably a lot of people don't even know who we are. So it's just huge for our school and everybody back home. Uh, I would say our, our school supports us so much. Um, yeah, like Daryl said, we're a little school, and it's just awesome to put us on the map. Yeah, uh, this is a tough conference that we're in. You know, we all fight uh, for us to just come in here and do what we have to do and get the win, which is big for our conference and big for our school, too, and for our fans that came down here and, you know, sacrificed their time to come watch us play and get the W. Let's take one more from Zoom. Daniel Rodriguez. Daniel, please unmute yourself and go out here with your question uh, for the student athletes. Uh, Daniel Rodriguez, uh, this league with Daniel, my name is Florida. Um, I wanted to ask you guys, you just mentioned right now playing in, in the MAC, the MACC. Yeah, just how has the conference maybe just prepared you guys to play teams like Kentucky? Because you guys almost on the regular play teams like Iona, Siena, Monmouth. Just how has the conference prepared you to play Kentucky in, into this tournament? Um, the MAC is probably one of the most competitive conferences in the country, to be honest, because any team could be any team, even if it's the highest seed or the lowest seed. So each day, night, day, day in, day out, you have to bring your A game or you could get upset. So just that atmosphere and that, that competitiveness all year just helped us for this game. Yeah, like Daryl said, uh, the MAC is so competitive. Any team could be any team. It doesn't matter. That's why uh, we had to bring our A game every night and uh, try to get the job done each day. Yeah, I feel like my teammates are spot on with it. You know, we just go out there, try our best. You know, anybody could be anybody, and that's what we do. We'll take two more from the crowd here assembled. Go ahead. Uh, Kyle, Sports Report Media. Doug, hostile crowd. Seems like everybody from Kentucky was here. Um, tough place to play. What's it feel like to take down one of the most storied programs in the United States? Uh, it feels amazing. Truly, it feels amazing. Uh, they had a great crowd. Um, a lot of people. We had we had our little section too. I don't know if anybody saw that, but we did. They came to support us, um, and it just feels amazing. It's a it's a huge win for the program, for our coaches, our teammates, and it just feels amazing. Last one for the student athletes here for Jerry. Well, this the, I'm wondering what you guys think you can do from here. This is one game, and and obviously you go forward now. What kind of splash do you think you can make? Uh, job's not finished. We're just out there trying to compete, you know, uh, with hard work and the way we play defense and compete every night. The sky's the limit for us. 
Gentlemen, congratulations on a wonderful game and best of luck coming up on Saturday. We'll dismiss the student athletes to go back to the locker room and celebrate. Thank we'll you. now take questions for Coach Holloway. Thank you. We'll get it to Mark down here. Thank you, guys. Mark, go ahead. Hey, Shaheen. Mark Canizaro for the New York Post. Um, you spoke to us yesterday about surviving those first five to seven minutes. Uh, can you describe, you know, what you saw out of your team getting through that initial push? And it seemed as if Kentucky kind of had to survive you guys after a little bit. Yeah, I thought, you know, um, the first, I think, three or four minutes we came out, um, Casey got two fouls quick, and we had to make some adjustments. And I was proud of the guy that came in for him. I thought Clarence, I thought Clarence, our freshman, came in and played big minutes for us, um, for a freshman. And then, you know, Omar came in. He was hurt the last couple of games he didn't play. But, you know, I thought we survived the first six minutes. Um, but then I got a little upset because I think they scored way too easy. Mr. Clay? Yeah, John Clay, Lexington Arrow leader. Coach, your team known as a really good defensive team. What made you so successful on offense tonight against Kentucky? Well, Dow Banks had an off um, conference tournament, you know, and the last two days he was in the gym working, working, working. I knew he was going to have a, a big game. Um, and I, you know, like we, we got good players. You know, we, we got good players. Like I, I, I know this is getting old as a cliche, but, you know, we got guys that, that really have a chip on their shoulder, that really believe that they belong at big time schools. Um, and I give the guys the freedom to play on offense. As long as they do what they got to do for me on defense, on offense, they, they, they have the freedom. Down in front. Hey, Coach, Kyle Babcock, Sports Report Media. It's called March Madness. Um, here we are. It's, this is what this is about. What does March Madness mean to you right now? Uh, <laughs> tonight, right? <laughs> you know, it's, 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 at the end of the day, you know, every team that made it to the NCAA tournament deserved to be here. Every team that made it to the NCAA tournament think that they could advance. You know, it's, like, you just have to be good on this night. It's, it's, it's not about your record. It's not about what school you're at. It's who, who's ever good on that night. And tonight, you know, it, it was our night. Let's get a microphone back to Mark. Or, or you got a question, Mike? Okay, let's go ahead and give it to Mike, and we'll get it to Mark after that. Mike, go ahead. Mike Wells, ESPN. Uh, Shaheen, last time you played in the NCAA tournament, your tournament got cut short because you got injured during your senior year at Seton Hall. Does a win like this kind of get rid of that itch a little bit because you didn't get to finish out as a player? No, I'm, I'm different, man. Like this, is, like, this is about the players. Like, this is about them. Like, these guys – put up with my nonsense every day in practice. You know, this is about them. I'm so proud of them, I'm so happy for them because these are moments that, you know, is, people can't take away from them. Like these guys came in and took down one of the biggest schools in the country, right? So they gonna remember this, this, this moment for the rest of their life. So it's not about me. Mark? Sheen, when you, uh, with regard to Doug, when you see him play and see him shoot, uh, obviously he scored 20 tonight. He had, a, he had a really good conference tournament you know, you would wonder why he's not starting, right? I mean, can you, can you speak to that a little bit and, and, and that, that, that dynamic of him coming off the bench and you doing You trying to start does? trouble, huh? Not really. Nah. <laughs> you know what, no, nah, we, so in the, in the first half of the season, the non-conference, he was starting. You know, our, our team went on a uh, COVID pause for 28 days and the guys that's pretty much starting right now was the guys that didn't go, didn't get COVID, All right? So I kind of stuck, stuck with the lineup because I'm superstitious like that. Um, it was working for us, so so why change it up? You know, I don't I don't have a starting five. You look at my team. I I played, you know, ten guys double figure minutes, so anybody could play for us, play for me at any time. Let's go to Zoom. Let's uh, again, Christopher is with us via Zoom. Christopher, please unmute yourself and ask a question for Coach Holloway. Christopher, you with us? Let's go back to the room. Let's go to Jerry here up front. Jerry had a question. Go ahead. Coach, uh, you said that you guys, your guys will remember this the rest of their lives. I'm wondering how, if it'll be a coaching challenge to get them to move beyond this going forward in the tournament, and how, what kind of splash do you think your team can make? One game at a time. Right? You know, so you know, we, we go into Saturday, whoever we're we going to play Saturday. We go into Saturday game tomorrow, but we prepare as best as we can, and we go into Saturday game, and that's the most important game right now is Saturday. So we don't look forward. We don't, we don't, I'll never let my guys look, look forward too far. We, we concentrate on the, the task at hand. And right now is whoever went tonight and then the, the winner of that. Got time for one more for Coach. Any more questions for Coach Holloway? Coach, congratulations on a great night and best of luck this weekend. Thank you. We'll be joined by Coach Calipari and the student athletes from Kentucky.
here in a matter of moments. Thank you very much.